All right, I'm in Camden County, Missouri. I'm at the intersection of Pine Cove Road. I'll zoom in a little bit, see if that shows up. Pine Cove Road and Stoddard, Stoddard Lane. Okay, let's take a quick look at the map here. Okay. I'm parked right about here. This is Stoddard Lane, Stoddard Lane going north, and that's Pine Cove Road. And we'll be taking a look at a large property here. Uh, this property has frontage on Pine Cove Road. It's got frontage on Cliff House Road, which we passed. And this is only the second time I've been up here. Um, I'm just gonna park right here. And we'll go have a look. So that's looking down Pine Cove Road, north on Stoddard Lane, and back on Pine Cove Road. Pine Cove Road, where we just came from. There's a little power station right there. Obviously, electric and phone are going to be here at the road. This property has just been logged. So it's recently been logged, as you can see. It looks like the guys just pulled out their equipment uh, within the last few weeks, probably. We did not log it, we bought it from the loggers. I've been anxious to see this property because I know it's very close to the Lake of the Ozarks. And I have a feeling it should have should have some lake views. This won't be a super long video. We're gonna price this extremely cheaply and you can take your time and explore it. I actually don't mind taking this video with it having just been logged because you really do get to see the land at its worst. Uh, the fact that a lot of the marketable timber has been cut means we can price it just as cheaply as possible some areas will look hideous some will not some people don't like land that has been logged some people really really don't mind <laughs> we could go either way if you can stand with the land looking a little rough uh, for a few years you're gonna get a great great deal on this property after a few years, when the trees start to grow up uh, and the brush piles kind of just rot down, uh, this is going to look great. Right now, it looks rough. Okay. We're looking basically to the south, I believe. <laughs> And this is a big property. There is a lot to see here. We could never get it all in, into even a dozen videos. So we're gonna price it super cheaply and you can take your time and you can explore this property. On some of these properties like this, uh, where they've been logged, um, selectively cutting a few of the remaining trees can give you an awesome view. You're gonna have multiple spots for building sites and you can see although they did cut a lot of the marketable timber I don't see anything that looks like a clear cut it looks like mainly the marketable oak trees were cut if you've ever wanted to be close to the lake of the Ozarks you really can't get a whole lot closer to the lake uh, than this property. It is tough to find actual acreage this close to the lake. I'm looking off in the distance. It looks like that hillside. I see some old scrap metal.
not sure what that's about. Big property. This is an amazing area for white tailed deer and for turkey. Here's a logger's trail uh, which leads down the hillside. This could be an amazing spot for a home or for a cabin. I won't go too much longer on the video. Take your own time and explore this property. It would not surprise me a bit if, hey, there's the water. <laughs> yeah, off in the distance, there's the Lake of the Ozarks. Peeking through the trees. Once the leaves are on, you'll have a, a tough time seeing that. Uh, but just the way this property sits, I'd say it's a really safe bet that there are going to be some more some more lake views, especially toward the southern part of the property. I'm looking back toward that hillside where we were, and it does look like uh, there's a lot of scrap metal, probably 40, 50, 60 years ago, that was some kind of uh, place where the property owner might have dumped his scrap metal. Pretty common. It's funny on properties like this because we've been doing this about 20 years and uh, when you first lay eyes on a property like this after it's just been logged, it can be kind of shocking. It looks really messy. Uh, it literally takes only a few years for things to start looking pretty good. And that's why if you can get it on the ground floor, and buy it at a low price, uh, you're really looking at some good appreciation and property values within a few years. Taking out the, the biggest of the marketable trees leaves a lot of room for growth for the small and medium sized trees. All these tops that you see everywhere, those will rot away and they'll enrich the soil for the remaining trees. I'm kind of walking out on a little knoll here. And this would have a stellar view, especially with some of these trees removed. We're not big on cutting the trees, but sometimes if you can get an awesome view by just cutting a few trees, that's a uh, smart thing to do. Oh, I hear something. There go two deer down there. I can see their little white tails bouncing away. There they go. They were taking a morning nap. Some interesting rocks. If you're looking for a property that you don't plan to, to build on for five or ten years, uh, you really should consider looking at property that has been logged. Uh, you can get it at a, at a really cheap price relative to uh, land with big commercial timber. And just let it grow for a few years. It's still fantastic hunting land. A lot of good black dirt where I am right here. This is interesting. I see some rock mixed in with a lot of good black dirt. We have a lot of buyers who, uh, they're buying now because they can see the writing on the wall as far as land prices rising. Missouri, Southern Missouri, the Ozarks. Uh, this is one of the last regions with affordable land. 
but kind of the, the cat is out of the bag and people are starting to buy here and it's pushing up prices. Uh, but where I was going with that was we have a lot of buyers who don't plan to retire um, for 10 or 15, 20 years and they're picking up properties right now. They're getting, getting dirt cheap properties, often because they've just been logged. Uh, and they're not going to be using them for a home site for 10 or 20 years. And in 10 or 20 years, uh, this is <laughs> this is going to look fantastic. Like I said, in just a few years. So why pay three grand an acre right now for something with huge marketable timber uh, when you can get something for just a fraction of that? And this area close to the Lake of the Ozarks is one of the undiscovered gems of Missouri, I feel. People are just now starting to realize, hey, there's some really good acreage there. Camden County near the lake uh, has zoning, which means it has, you know, moderate restrictions, um, which keeps the area looking really good. If you're looking for some place for a permanent home or a retirement home or a cabin, uh, having zoning is really not the, the thing, it's not the bad thing that some people seem to think it is. It's it's a good thing, in my mind. I believe, You can check with the county. Uh, it, it can vary from property to property, but generally, uh, if you're building an, a normal type of cabin or house and it's 600 square feet or more, uh, you're going to be just fine. Amazing views from this property. From down here, I can see a lot of timber. I don't see the lake from here. But talk about a, a private paradise. So paved road frontage, frontage on two roads, I guess. Pine Cove and then Cliff Road. Super private down in here. We already saw the deer, so I don't have to I don't have to mention again how great that is. What a great hunting area. Bring your family or your buddies. You can have a ton of fun with the four-wheeler. Uh, there are places out here that rent skid loaders. Uh, you can do a lot of cleanup or build trails. You can get a shocking amount of stuff done in a weekend uh, if you rent a four-wheeler. Oftentimes when we get a property like this, we do go ahead and clean it up. Uh, we have a couple skid loaders and uh, some guys that we work with and uh, they'll go in and spend a few days or a few weeks and clean it up and obviously that raises the price. We've opted not to do that on this one. You're you're buying what you see, and if you want to clean it up and uh, build some sweat equity that way, that's great. If not, then just let Mother Nature take its course and let this stuff grow. Tough to beat the area so close to the Lake of the Ozarks. Paved frontage means you can drive up to this property in any type of vehicle. Electric and phone, obviously right at the road. Uh, fire station there, so probably super cheap insurance on your house or cabin. Someone will be very happy with this property. If you have any questions, give us a shout. I'm going to cut this. I'd say I'm going to cut this short, but it's been almost 15 minutes on this video. It's one of the longer ones we've ever done. <laughs> this is the acreage on Pine Cove Road in Camden County, right next to the world-famous Lake of the Ozarks. I just want to keep going. I just want to spend the day out here. property has a lot going for it. This is nice. Location, 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 and it is just tough to beat this location. We'll price this one cheaply and someone is going to be very happy with this property.